up guys, there is Yoda and today we got 1v1 on Forts of Ascent 2 between APMN playing as men and Ectarian playing as elves APMN just used Tenderland to find out the uh, race of his opponent Ectarian is going with Builder forward and he is going with Elfman Barrack near the Warpler while APMN is moving with the Builder to the top of the map and in the base he create one farm and there is the second one so APMN is going for stables uh, in this manner and um, there comes Barak from Ectaion. He's let's check his power points of course uh, APMN got uh, forest and his opponent got Ranical <coughs> so he is not aware about APMN's tactic uh, at the moment Ectalion is going for Lorien Archers mm, to creep Warkler most likely and uh, prevent uh, from some Baraxes and stuff like that he is moving with Builder forward to check if his opponent is not going with Forward Barak as well and here comes Lorien Archers they will deal some damage to the works then the work pet another unit from Ectalion they're going to be Mifflin sentries so it's going to be picking your battalion. A good choice over here by Ectaion. If you are not aware about uh, tactic that uh, men of the West are going for, you should definitely pick Mifflin um, sentries to be just secure in any in any case. Here comes Builder from uh, APMN, and is he going to get some treasures? Yeah, it's 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 most likely like oh one. Oh, only one on treasure go to APMN, and he lost his builder. And he is aware about those Lorian archers with running call, but I don't think so that he's aware of those pikemen that just appear. And I think it could be definitely hard for him. And here comes pikemen, so APMN got to get away a bit. He will be not able to deal damage to those uh, Lorian archers. They're a pretty good um, spot, and. Um, Mifflin Sentry will definitely help them find out and protect them from uh, the damage that those knights could uh, provide. Knights are trying to head for Elven Barak. There is another unit of Mifflin Sentries that will be created, and some Lorian archers trying to snipe those uh, knights over here. And here comes, I think, mistake from Ectelion as he is not. Oh, good save, good micro by Ectelion over here, even without. Uh, compositions of those Mifflin and archers in the same group still he was managed to uh, save both of those units here comes another Mifflin sentries uh, battalion and this barrack is still alive knights get to get away and heal themselves preoccupied formation archers on level 3 they will definitely destroy those uh, Gondor archers and uh, AP man is going for of course archers so we got archer range Available here comes and mode for Ectalion. So pretty fast move from this player. He's going right for the uh, for the for the end. He got him already. So he's going from the top towards the fortress even because there is no barrack on the field yet for uh, mm, from APMN as I can see. Yeah, it could be definitely a good idea. Here comes another battalion of knights and they will they just destroy the barrack and uh, head to the builder to kill him it, it just happened a couple of those knights who will be catched by uh, pikemen and what is going on with this uh, ant he is moving forward as you can see he, he will definitely deal damage to the fortress or maybe other buildings he could definitely do some damage over here as there are only pikemen to uh, only gondor archers to protect the base and I think it's nothing compared to Ant and that uh, could uh, easily take down the fortress. Let's take a look how many damage they will get uh, all around. They could be even trample. Let's take a look at the mm, resources they get cut. APMN got nothing, but he will get down this end I think with those Lorian archers uh, with those archers. Ectelion could uh, trample them a bit, but he decided to do it. Instead, uh, he's going for uh, right for a fortress, 
In the meantime, with Medfall and Sentry, he's creeping Warclar. And another one have been done already. Here comes Knight, who counter this uh, ant mood over here. Here comes another ant. But the fortress even is not in uh, half. Here comes Barak as well, with some soldiers of Gondor. And I think Knights plus... Uh, those archers will definitely take down and this an, another end that appear over here. So the fortress will stay alive. It's not even a half health of this fortress going down. And at the moment it's not even possible for this end to make some more damage while the, those knights are on him. And those archers definitely will deal uh, damage over time. Here comes Mifflin sentries with running call. But I don't think so, this archer range will go fall down. As you can see, uh, the fortress for AP man is still alive. And AP man, uh, and Ectelion is not going for another end to try to rush his opponent. But overall, AP man is losing his archer range by Mifflin sentries. And he may be able to catch the, those Mifflins over here by those archers. And it's actually what's happened. So Mifland's, uh, Mifland archers will be killed, they are on level 5, Actaeon definitely would like to save them. And it's actually what's happened, I think he just spotted the stables. And APMN will be able to creep the war club on the top. As well as taking down the end mode at the moment. What's going on with the base from, uh, from our elephant player? He got some riders, uh, some lancers as well as barrag in the base. So he's definitely saved over here. He creeped almost all the uh, work creeps as well. So it's definitely good for him. Here comes one of those works, it only works because when you destroy and uh, the workler and the rumbles will, will remain, this work is free. But he will be definitely catched by those uh, knights and those uh, Gondor archers who saved the day once before. But now they will not get any chance against the uh, Lancer's battalions. So riders appear, but uh, AP men get counter in terms of uh, tower guards and Baragon level 3 with some tower on it. But let's take a look. Uh, some Gondor archers will be definitely killed over here by uh, Lancers from Rivandal. Here comes Banners as well from AP men. And 9 power points in total he got at the moment. While uh, his opponent got zero power points, but he also already get uh, arrow volley at the moment. Rally call have been through down. I don't think so that those lancers get the uh, rally call. Here comes the counter with the land, and I think uh, that's it. Gondor knights are not aware of arrow volley, but they're, it's not dealing that much damage, but I think it's enough to get away at the moment. Those knights should definitely be low on health and could be killed by those lancers, but it doesn't look like that it's that great. Even Lorian archers appear to deal some damage. Here comes Hobbit Alliance from um, APMN, and they will definitely deal some damage. This barrack may fall down by those uh, Hobbits alone, and with those knights it will be definitely... they will definitely be sure about it. So barrack goes down for APMN uh, for the second time. Level 6 for uh, Gondor Knights, but they will be killed at over here. Here comes Will from or uh, Mirror of Galadira for Ectelion, who will try to heal his knights because it's the only thing that he got remained. Of course, he got some Mifflin sentries and Lorian archers in the wood, but uh, they're not dealing damage. Elfin archers just, just appear, but they're not in control. Oh, Pikeman's, Pikeman's good catch with those knights over here. Knights will be catched for, uh, for a moment. Another Maltry will fall down by Hobbits, I think. Yeah, it's happened. And APMN is gaining control. Lorian archers have been killed as well. And knights could definitely get away, but it wasn't time for this. And Mifflin sentries only uh, still remain. Three battalions, uh, four, almost four battalions for um, Ectelion at the moment. He need to recreate those uh, Lorian and those Riven Lancers. But I don't think so. Oh, good micro over here. <coughs> so Lancer is heading uh, APM in his base, trying to deal some damage. While APM is definitely creeping the entire map. 
He's creeping the troller, but with pikeman's level 1 you will not succeed it without running call. But anyway, he's, he got access to enemy's base, he deal damage in, to it and he make his base smaller and smaller. Now let's take a look about uh, resources um, and power points. So, APMN got uh, 500. Uh, 600 at the moment and uh, his uh, opponent got uh, 200 at the moment resources and he will lose more Molo trees mm, over time here comes Boromir, he's still on level 1 but oh here comes Legolas from Mike Taliona so it's a little bit of good counter level 2 for Boromir level 3 at the moment so he got Horn of Gondor definitely a good uh, power over here, one of those, uh, the best from first tier uh, heroes as he can stun all those units and retreat his units as well as attack them so it's pretty good, here comes uh, Lancers of Rivendell they are escaped their fate, they will be healed over here nearest this uh, will of Mirror of Galadriel there are two of them by mistake or just uh, Ectaion was eager to save his builder. But the base from Ectaion is uh, so small, he got uh, only like 5 Malotrees, 6 Malotrees at the moment, while his pawn got uh, more and more stuff uh, available for himself. And the small Malotree on level 2 will go fall down. But it looks like that um, Ectelion is still trying to gain control. He will kill the builder and find a builder from IP man. He will destroy some mm, farms in the process, mm, gain some power points as well. How about power points for Ectelion, uh, for IP mana at this point? 11 power points uh, to 13. So it's pretty good, uh, even leveling up uh, from those lancers to give them banners, it's pretty viable you know, for lancers and any, any units. They deal more damage and they can reheal re themselves. <coughs> 15 power points at the moment and they will go for the pikemans. Oh, a little bit. Level 4 for uh, Boromir, he can use Horn of Gondor when they will try to retreat but APMN is not eager to use it at the moment pretty bad idea here comes another battalion of Lorien uh, of um, Rivendell Lancers they should get away at the moment but uh, Ectelion is not aware about it he's more we concentrated on his uh, base I think but the Ectelion still doing damage here we comes Faramir to prevent it and he will definitely one shot every of those uh, Rivendells. Uh, here comes Arrow Volley. A uh, little bit too late, but uh, Gondor Archer is having killed at least. Legolas, who is in level 4 at the moment, uh, still gaining some experience as well. As uh, he can share experience with uh, his uh, units, he get access to train archers ability so Ectelion is still alive still uh, he can counter attack his opponent here comes uh, archer on level 2 at the moment from IP man and so he was gaining experience on uh, archers level 5 archers and level 2 only but still it's uh, good to get such power points uh, and will be taken by uh, IP man as well And it's Ectelion who decided to move forward with uh, almost 12 power points. Builder maybe catch over here. Oh, he decided to create another farm to prevent it. Doesn't happen. It's no time for AP man to attack. Uh, how about uh, 
the APM, APM guard available his Dunanda is uh, allies and Hobbit alliance as well. So he got all the power points available for himself. Here comes uh, Salmon L, uh, Salmon Hobbit, Dunadais, as well as Ants up here in the top of this. And I don't think so, it may be over from APM's base. He will definitely succeed it and save it. Legolas fall down. And maybe long, some long shots could be used over here in the top of those Lorian archers. It doesn't look like that uh, Hector will be able to deal some more damage with ants at the moment. We offer bows from yeah, and this attack was cut out. <laughs> cut off guard. So, as we can see that uh, APMN got uh, map awareness and almost map control over his opponent. Here comes Boromir. He will get level 5 at the moment. When he destroyed this mallow tree and he got 50% uh, damage for his units. He can use the Horn of Gondor and escape as well. Our volley is not available yet for Actaeon it's good and it's could be tough uh, for uh, this player to deal some damage. Long shot should could be used on those units over here and kill them all uh, instantly. But it doesn't happen. Anyway, more and more units from uh, APMN, while, while this time for Rangers still not remain. He's pushing forward and trying to deal as, many, as much damage as possible. And uh, he regained his map control. Our volley is going to be used, but uh, it's going to be waste at the moment. Good micro by APMN so far. Farm, you're gaining experience, uh, leveling up, wounded arrows and uh, stuff, uh, level 6 for Boromir. Here comes uh, Lorin Warriors, they could deal damage to Faramir at the moment, level 5 for him, uh, and he could be killed over here. Yeah, Faramir have been catched by, by Lorin Warriors, and here comes some towers to, uh, to create some camp from APMN. He got some uh, rangers as well, and maybe far. Yeah. Oh, great! Good catch by Actaeon towards this uh, Boromir over here. And I think those towers will not come to an end, and APMN will be forced to retreat his builders. Actaeon got access to mm, elven armor. At the moment, and he's battle. still alive. Uh, regain some map control over the over the left side, and he's pushing forward with some Lorian archers. Lorian archers on level nine at the moment, pretty good. Dealing definitely a nice damage to we his opponent's units. Go. Fourteen power points available for him at the moment. APM and got those points. Nineteen, and he's closer and closer to Earthquick. That could end the game, but let's see what's happened. Uh, more and more Rangers in the field. More and more uh, Tower Guards, as well. Some Gondor soldiers battalion going to catch some uh, Revenders Lancers. It's of course not going to be necessary. Those lancers got running call on them, so they deal 50% more damage. And here comes uh, Legolas with some troops. We cannot call it an army because it's not an army, but some three battalions of troops. And he will go for builder instead of anything else. I don't know why. Builder may manage to get away, actually. And here comes Faramir, and it's him who will deal damage to the units. 
hot strike have been used on Faramir and he need to get away. He will succeed it at the time and some Lorien archers will chase him for the time being but they will not succeed it and all the time will be killed. We ride from Rivendell. Let's check the power points. Um, Ectelian got 17 power points and how about his opponent? He got 1k resource and uh, 1k command points as well available. And APMN got Free, his three points away uh, from Airquick, and it could be it. Some some lancers got Soldier just get to the Gondor tower guards, and instead he get killed. And a builder as well, maybe killed by AP man. Actelian is trying to micro, but I think it's too late. Yeah, builder have been killed. And another low <laughs> lancers battalion is trying to deal damage to the farms while uh, APMN is trying to recreate his army level 6 on Faramir and Boromir so they got both leaderships, 50% armor and 50% damage so it's definitely a good buff if you get both of them with yourself 24 power points for APMN at the moment and he's still and still gaining those power points let's see how about Ectana who is trying to do it with uh, Lorien Archers and uh, Lorien Rivian the Lancers and Lorian Warriors on the side. Rank have been used. Arrow Volley as well, killing all of those Rangers. Pretty good use of Arrow Volley at this point. And those uh, Rivian the Lancers will definitely get away. You don't want uh, Boromir to use Horn of Gondor and stop them at the moment. Legolas with uh, Lorian. Archers will catch the, some soldiers of Gondor and he is gaining his power points as well. So game is pretty even at this point. Both the players got uh, what they want. Uh, all the necessary power points to counter opponent and it's pretty good. Let's check the base from uh, Ectelion and he just bought himself a Haldir, most likely for his leadership. That allow him to gain, uh, allow units to gain 50% more damage. It's like uh, the running call. And Boromir plus entire army will be forced to go back a bit. Here comes Hobbit Alliance from uh, Ectelion, uh, from AP Man, and he's trying to deal more damage. Only one uh, Lorien battalion. Uh, get get off guard because this one is all about 10 and Horn of Gondor is not works on them. How they're moving too much forward uh, Legolas was forced to use a uh, knight fighter in order to survive, uh, survive and gain 20% of uh, armor in the process. Here comes Sunflower from uh, Actelion. He was forced to do it. Uh, there was too many troops, just too many troops uh, for his opponent to deal with and it's maybe uh, some kind of counter-attack. Of course, Earthquake will be available for APMN at the moment as he got 13 pow uh, 30 power points available for himself. So we can decide for which power it's, it's going to be a seal. No, Lorien. Rivendell Lancer is still heading for the farms like from it was from the beginning. Farmir uh, Haldir is low in health but he is still able to survive. Here comes more and more uh, rangers. Uh, Haldir get to get away as well as those uh, Lorien archers. Here comes a running call for uh, Rivendell uh, Lancers and they will catch only few rangers but they will not be able to kill it. Level 2 for Rivenda uh, Lancers. Here comes uh, Lorien Warriors as well, fully upgraded. And unseen by his opponent, now they he saw them, but the farm will definitely fall down at the moment. Ectelion is still dealing damage to his opponent's structures, most likely farms, because they are pretty low in health and uh, lower. Lorien. 
Oh, those uh, Rivendell Lancers should get definitely get away and heal themselves. There is. Oh, Legolas and Lo is low on health. Arrow Valley have been used. How about heal? He got uh, power points for heal, but Legolas we can. And what is going to happen at the moment? Like, game just uh, suddenly changed. Um, Actaeon loses heroes, um, at least uh, one of them. And Faramir uh, himself will not deal enough damage. He's only for support for army. Living the Lancer is trying to deal damage to the farms. They're catched by some fi fire arrows from the fortress. Here comes Boromir with Horn of Gondor. Stop them from demolish this farm on level 3 that is very viable for my PMN at this point. And he will kill them all. Here is the builder, and I think. Ectalion is not aware about it, he's moving forward towards the base, helping the base to stay alive while the builder will create some structures. Here comes the Elfen Barak as well that will be catched by uh, Faramir and uh, Rangers plus Guardians. And Lorien Warriors plus uh, Haldir but only on level 2 will try to deal some damage. Here comes uh, Dunedain's Rangers, they will deal damage to Faramir and to Haldir and he got to get away. Faramir as well got to be aware about it and um, try to deal damage to the Lorien warriors who are dealing damage to him. And that's it, some Rivendell uh, archers appear. Here comes Cloudbreak uh, from APMN. And he stopped all those units, he got 16 power points now available. Farmer level 9 at the moment. Riven the Lancers get himself into those uh, Rangers and they kill them all. And even was able to escape with both of those battalions. Pretty good uh, good use over here. APM and Gat as well. Summon Tom Bombadil available. And uh, how about his opponent? Uh, he got 1k resources, 1k combined points, so he will gain more resources than his opponent. Duo to, duo to destroy all those farms. But it's APMN who got um, more powers and uh, he's using heroes uh, better than his opponent. Not losing them that much. As, fine, uh, as fight continue, uh, Ectelion get for himself a wood and far sight and he got uh, armored his fortress for any precautions like uh, for example elf earthquake here comes horn of gondor stop and stopping those lancers of moving and it's going to be it for them here comes arrow volley for those rangers they may be killed over here yeah they will here comes as well and summon with some uh, Ray Lorien uh, Riven the Lancers are just trying to farm level 3 so big loss by APMN but I don't think so it's enough Rocks will be through, through down by uh, ants but I think that uh, APMN will be able to survive this attack <coughs> with ease and kill those ants uh, definitely here comes the entire army for uh, Ectelion and uh, it was chased by Tom Bombadil but uh, his time remain so they are free to go at the moment. Let's check the power points that they got available at this point. So APMN choose to take Army of the Dead to be sure that uh, he's saved from his opponent's uh, army this, this army is not a that big threat, but of course it can deal definitely a bigger damage. And here comes army of the dead from entire of this army. Fortress will stay alive as this army will goes to dust. And here comes even Haldir on level 4 with leadership. And he will be forced back as well. So really good idea with those uh, units of army of the dead and killing all remaining uh, army for his opponent. 
But APM and got one problem over here. His combined points are only 400, while his opponent got 1k uh, combined points, so he's in fully. And he got no units after those uh, mano uh, dead army times remain. So we got to rebuild his uh, base as fast as possible. He's going for Barak, uh, he's um, should moving back with Boromir, he's crucial over here and he's going to Horn of Gondor as APM doesn't have any power points except the uh, Hobbit Alliance that will definitely, with Flar from Frodo, will definitely despise those uh, units and uh, make them moving uh, in the other side. Here comes Horn of Gondor, the, it catched one of those uh, Riven uh, Lancers, here comes as well Hobbit Alliance that would be definitely only avoided by uh, Rivendell Lancers. This battalion of Rivendell Lancers is still alive, so good play here by uh, Actelion, to be honest. Um, he forced APMN to lose Hobbit Alliance uh, power point at the moment, and he will try to deal damage later on, or even now. Our boy is used at the moment. All those units was forced to get away a bit. Here comes the Lorien. Units. Um, this land shouldn't be thrown down because uh, of this counter from a uh, man player. Boromir was managed to get away, but Lorien, but uh, Riven the Lancers as well. And let's check uh, the power points and uh, resources from Actena. So we got 1k resources, 1k. Uh, supplies to field, or combined points to field. He got uh, all the upgrades uh, for Elf and he got Legolas plus Haldir on level 4, so he's definitely ahead as well. He got only available far side at the moment, but uh, almost uh, 15 power points uh, at the moment as well. Uh, and it could be anything. Uh, he decided to go for uh, Eagles. He could summon them over here, but he will be forced to rush his opponent as well. Here comes Eagles, and I think it's maybe it. It's maybe the fortress from uh, APMN. And without the forces, it's going to be definitely hard from APMN to do anything. Fortress is still alive. Here comes the Lorian Archers Battalion on level 4, on level 2, on level 4 uh, at the moment. And they stop it, but uh, fortress will may go down by Haldir. Look at this, Haldir get down the fortress all, all of his own. And I think this builder is the one, the chosen one who that should be definitely taken down by uh, Actelion. It just happened. So I think that uh, without the builders and without uh, structures and units. APM man will be killed and it's just happened. The game is over and Actaelon won the game. Uh, nice game by both the players. Lots of power points have been seen. Uh, lots of micro was um, involved in this game. And uh, it was pretty pretty much a nice match for both the players. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the cast and may the force be with you. Bye bye.